been watching the mainstream news in America, and every few months they say the war in Afghanistan is over. Whenever I hear that, I think to myself, how could that be? I've been there. I've seen kids making guns with their bare hands in caves. I just don't buy it. The war's not over. So I asked my mom to call her buddy. He's the governor of the northwest frontier province of Pakistan. He got us into the tribal areas, which is a big deal because the BBC, they've called it the most dangerous part of the world, and all foreign journalists have been banned from there. But we got our own private militia, and they took us through the biggest illegal arms market on the planet. If anybody comes to my side, I will definitely kill him. <laughs> Name, who is our host, is part of the Afridi tribe. He was born and raised there. He's a political agent for the government now. He put it together for us. He got us through, dealt with the bureaucracy, got us the protection, got our militia together to cover our asses when we went through the market. Is this loaded? Yes, this is loaded, <laughs> but they, they locked it. They locked it. Where's the lock? This is the gate of Khyber Pass, and from here the Khyber Pass is started. It's the most historical pass in the history of the world. The Aryans came through, the Mongols came through, the British Army came through and got destroyed. Special place. Special place for special people. Wow, thanks, buddy. This is the house of Mr. Ayub Afridi. He was in jail on the narcotics offense in USA. Now he is acquit and now he is living here freely. He's the founder of the heroin trade. The, not the trade, the basically the idea. The concept. The concept. Of what? Of, uh, of heroin. My hat, <laughs> my father's hat. <laughs> I will try my best. It's a very special Italian I will try my best. Oh, God. No! Traffic Iber went into Dara. That's where the arms market is. So when you were explaining to the officials what we wanted to do, yeah. the old man started laughing when you said we wanted to shoot guns and maybe buy some guns. Yeah. I think he liked that idea. He liked, he liked, he liked he, that idea. He, he was laughed. Yeah, he was he, laughed. He was laughed. Yeah. People of this area believe many sons and a lot of guns. This is the philosophy of the Dara peoples. Definitely the largest illegal arms market in the world. There's another one in Pakistan, it's not quite as big. And the story is that during the 80s, the Soviet Afghan war was happening. All the scrap metal from all the broken down tanks and guns that they would find, they would bring it back over and then replicate firearms. First, they will show you how the gun is making, how the bullet is. Making. Then they show you the shooting area. So in the whole town, they make a thousand guns a day here. And they've been doing that for 70 years. That's a lot of guns. So this guy is making nine millimeter pistols with his bare hands. The guy who's making it um, is, is deaf. Uh, it's a Mauser, but it says made as China by Noriko. This is the, 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 the cartridge. He has no tongue. 3,050 rupees price. We're hearing lots of guns being shot around us, and they're just checking to make sure that the guns work. Uh, and they're doing it with live ammo. What I'm wondering is, they shoot it up in the air. <laughs> Where do the bullets fall? This one is one of the bigger and popular shops in this gun market. It's time to go gun shopping. Here's an Italian machine. This is like a Kalashnikov? Kalakov. It says, it's a muzzleite. Oh, holy shit. I think you could do some damage to this. The 
Brazil a Khyber rifle. So in 1857, the British gave yeah. the Afghanis 10,000 of these. I don't even know where to cut this thing. Where do you put the bullet in? It's got to shoot it. A musket. A musket, right, you put it in. Nazi gun. German. Nazi. Nazi. German. Nazi. World War II. Man, man. Nazi gun. Pure evil in my hand. Sosh, now we are going to the shooting area. Yes, let's go. Bullet. So, yeah. Oh so we were wondering where they fall and they don't fall far from us. I'm going to keep it. Okay, let's keep it. you got to be kidding. This is the shooting area? We just had lunch downstairs. Yes. All right, let's do this. I'm shooting the enemies in the hills. I've never done this before. It's a Kalashnikov. Uh, and I'm kind of nervous. I uh, see my target. I got him. Yeah! Pakistan's in the back. Pakistan's. Yeah! <laughs> Americans are trying to beat down the, the Taliban uprising and they think that by sending in their troops and Pakistani troops that they'll be able to squash these people down. Good luck. These people live in caves, they have no tongues, they make guns with their bare hands. You can't beat them. They've been doing it for centuries and they will continue to. And we succeeded in our mission. We came to Dara and we bought guns. We shot them. We saw it all, how it all happens. <laughs> if you come here, you got to make sure you look the part, and you got to have a guy like Name to make it all happen. Shukriya. And one last thing. Pakistan's in the bad. <laughs>